Hi guys, I am so excited to do this craft with you guys this week. Um, this is our windowsill gardens. Um, so in your kit, you have this little instruction thing. Um, it just kind of gives you a rundown of how to plant. If you guys have done any gardening before, this is gonna be super easy. Um, and this is just something cute and fun that you can have in your kitchen and when they're done growing, the idea is that if you need an herb or something, it's right there and you can just grab some scissors and chop it off. Also in your kit, you're gonna have these two which are growing guides. Um, you have them for the two different seeds that you have in your kit. So you either have parsley and chives like here, or you have dill and, um, what's the other one? Cilantro. So you'll have one of the two. And these growing guides basically have how to plant um, whatever it is you're planting and how to harvest it, how to care for it. And they both have a link um, to the farmer's almanac, which is where I got all this information from. So if you want more information on how to, you know, leave it in the sun for however long, how much to water, all this good stuff like that, you can go ahead and check that out there. You also have a bag of little seeds. Um, both of the plants are in here, so you can put both of them in your little pots or you can separate them out. And they're both pretty different, so you can tell which is which. Um, and then you have your little labels, your chives and your parsley. Um, and they are laminated, and so they shouldn't um, be affected by any water. You also have some clothespins, mine are blue, just because I had some blue one on hand. Um, and the clothespins are going to be used to keep the labels in there. And then you have a bag of soil. Um, and I have a bowl here just because we want to be able to catch um, any water that may be put in there. Um, I'm not going to put any water in it because I'm not in a kitchen. Um, but I'm just going to take your little pot. Oh, you have your little pots too. Um, I'm going to take your little pot and make sure when you put this on your windowsill, um, or wherever you're going to put it, make sure you have like a plate or something underneath of it. Um, because it does have the drainage holes in them. So water is going to come out. So I'm going to put it in there because I am going to spill dirt everywhere if I don't do that. And then I'm going to put our soil in there and there should be plenty in here for both of them. Um, even if you just choose to put them both in one. I'm just going to take it and very carefully, not spill it everywhere, I very carefully just kind of pour it in here. And I did spill it, so that'll be fine. And that's why we had the bowl there. So I'm just going to make sure and put that back. And like I said, like there's, there's plenty of soil in here. This was just one and I filled it up and I even spilled it. So there's plenty in here. It is very dry, um, but that's okay. You can break it up a little bit with your fingers. This one's a little bit clumped up and it has all the nutrients and stuff because it's just, it's, it's growing soil. So you fill it up almost to the top um, and I would leave a little bit of room for water and I would put some water in it before you put the seeds in to hydrate it. Um, and then what we're gonna do is pour the seeds in. And so you take your little bag of seeds. And like I said, you can separate these out. Um, for instance, so the black ones, there are black ones in here and then there are little, um, well, yeah, there are black ones and then there's little brown ones in there too. So you know that there's a difference. So the black ones are one and then the brown ones are the other. Um, and the farmer's almanac guides actually have pictures of those seeds on them too. So there's that. And so I'm just going to pour these in here really quick. Um, okay. I'm not going to pour them all in there because I don't think we need all of them. Okay. And then once they're poured in there, like I said, you may want to put some water in the soil first or if you put it in after, make sure they're covered a little bit. And so this will tell you, so like with parsley, you're supposed to put them um, a quarter of an inch deep and it'll tell you how much um, and how far apart they should be. So just uh, use your best judgment and use the growing guides that I've given you here. So the next thing I wanna do is uh, mark them and I'm gonna mark this with chives. You could put both on here if you have them both in there. That's fine, um, but I'm just gonna put one. So I'm gonna put my little clothespin like this and then I'm going to stick this end of it in the soil, like that. And that is the idea, that's what it should look like. I think it's super cute, and it'll just sit in your kitchen window or wherever you wanna put it on a windowsill. 
Um, and once they're done growing, which your growing guides will tell you just about how long it'll take for you to use them, you can use them probably year round. Um, so this is a great little project to have just in your kitchen if you like to cook like I do. Um, I know I have one in my kitchen. I have a little thing of rosemary at my window. So this is just a super cute craft and I'm so happy to get to do this with you guys. We still have plenty of packets left, so please come and grab them. Um, and please keep turning in your reading tickets. I'm enjoying getting prizes ready for you guys this uh, summer reading. And I hope you guys like it and we'll see you later. Bye.